Enter a realm where desire and luxury collide, where each stitch reveals a nuanced tale of sophistication and allure. Greetings from the world of Victoria's Secret, the company that revolutionized what it meant to be intimately luxurious. How did this recognizable brand win over millions of hearts and become the benchmark for sophistication and sensuality? What caused its moment of reckoning, which put its reign in the pantheon of glamour under scrutiny? Today, we'll delve into the riveting narrative of the birth and fall of Six, the world's most sought-after intimate luxury brand. Get ready for a voyage through high-end fashion, scandal, and the attraction of exclusivity. Welcome to Money Doc TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started. History and Background Roy Raymond created Victoria's Secret in 1977 to develop a lingerie boutique where men could buy for their partners in a friendly setting. The company soon garnered fame for its sophisticated and seductive lingerie styles, elegant marketing campaigns, and expensive fashion presentations starring the industry's most known supermodels. Victoria's Secret, establishing itself as the premier destination for intimate clothing. Roy borrowed a total of USD 80,000, half from family and the rest from the bank, to open a boutique where men could feel comfortable buying lingerie. The brand's first location was in the Stanford Shopping Center in Palo Alto, California. The name was an allusion to Queen Victoria and the related refinement of the Victorian era. It used to be an elite, fancy area where a woman might go with her mother, but the redesign made the boutiques appear to be places where schoolgirls, teenagers, went behind their mother's backs. When comparing the original premise to what the brand has evolved into, I can certainly conclude that it has become the opposite of what it set out to be. Les Wesner, founder of L Brands, Victoria's Secret's parent business, stopped in 1982. He determined that he wanted the brand to be for women. He aimed to make Victoria's Secret into a quality but inexpensive brand, similar to its European cousin, La Perla. In 1995, the brand launched the first legendary Victoria's Secret annual fashion show, firmly establishing its image. So if everything was going great, why did we need to rebrand? There are other reasons. Let us try to mention them all. For years, customers have been urging the brand to be more inclusive, to have a wider range of sizes, and to use plus-sized models in their campaigns the new century. At the turn of the century, Sharon Jester Turney, the new CEO of Victoria's Secret Direct for Catalog, Grace Nichols, CEO of Victoria's Secret Direct, initiated a similar movement across the brand's locations, with apparel trends shifting away from the dominant and evocative fashion of 1800s England. Under their guidance, the brand's presence in the United States increased to 1,000 stores, accounting for over one-third of total sales in the intimate clothing business. Fall and Rise when, in your opinion, did Victoria's Secret's fortunes turn? In 2016, Turney stepped down as CEO, and Leslie Wexner took over as interim CEO. Wexner made a few rapid tweaks to the brand operations. He stopped using the print catalog and certain types of garments, such as swimwear, to focus only on lingerie, which was once his major business. He also divided the brand into three parts, Victoria's Secret Lingerie, Victoria's Secret Beauty, and Pink. This move proved devastating, as sales fell by 7.4% and remained low throughout 2017. Quality gradually deteriorated over time. From a brand that was once a staple for any young woman, I believe this was the primary reason they eventually failed. Of course, Les Wexner's ties to Jeffrey Epstein were beneficial. Even Epstein's Manhattan mansion, which was seized, originally belonged to Wexner. Despite the brand's efforts to separate itself from Epstein, such intimate relationships are disregarded and received favorably by the general population. Wexner, who grew the company into what it is today, resigned as chairman and CEO after the relationships were uncovered. Ed Razek, one of L Brand's top executives, was the subject of numerous allegations of inappropriate behavior. The number of complaints is endless. Epstein even acted as a Victoria's secret recruiter, luring in some young women while managing Wexner's riches. What astonished me was how deeply embedded this sexist corporate culture was, and how it had existed and thrived at the company for decades. Following the pandemic, people's buying habits shifted dramatically, and the majority began purchasing online. As new shopping malls appeared across the United States in the 1980s and 1990s, this posed a challenge for a brand that had staked its reputation on them. However, in today's increasingly internet environment, it backfired because the majority of VS stores are located in malls. However, the company's woes were far from done. By February 2020, reports had surfaced showing a bullying and harassing culture at the company. The New York Times released an expose that highlighted the culture of misogyny and accused Ed Razek, 
Within the next year, in February 2020, the company announced a 55% equity sale to Sycamore Partners for USD $525 million, which fell through in April 2020 due to the pandemic. In January 2021, the shareholders of the parent company L Brands filed a complaint in Delaware's Court of Chancery. Victoria's Secret, a luxury business, has made several missteps that have slowed its recovery. Ranjan Roy, a Dormi's VP of Strategy, believes that the brand has been spending too much on surface-level marketing with no modifications to the product or design. They've also spent too much money on bringing in huge personalities in ambiguous ways, such as footballer Megan Rapino, who hasn't done anything for the brand in a long time. Roy further points out that lead periods for intimate items are considerable, making it difficult for the business to keep up with marketing efforts. Empty words, promising diversity, accompanied by the same stock and models, badly impact the company. While Victoria's Secret continues to dominate the market, they learned from Victoria's Secret's blunders. They are carving out a new path for themselves to take a sizable portion of Victoria's Secret's big sales. These businesses also appeal to women's preference for sports bras over push-ups, posing another challenge for a company whose own line of sports bras fails to resonate with customers. Growth Strategy the company intends to maximize the value of its Victoria's Secret and Pink brands while also strengthening its position as the world's largest personal wear retailer. Three crucial goals for the company are to reinforce its core, increase expansion, and change its foundation, including diversity in their marketing strategies. So Victoria's Secret's acquisition of the Adore Me brand created synergistic potential that spurred tremendous worldwide growth. Victoria's Secret and company plans to enhance its brand identity and expand its product line through product-driven entertainment. The Adore Dormi brand purchase is expected to accelerate growth. The 4PS of Victoria's Secret, number one product. The company is well known for its diverse selection of bras, and its panties include thongs, bikinis, hipsters, and boy shorts. The sleepwear line comprises plush robes. Victoria's Secret also sells athletic wear designed to boost confidence and performance. The brand's fragrances are renowned for their seductive aromas and gorgeous packaging, while its cosmetic products offer a lavish sensory experience. Number two price. Victoria's Secret is a premium lingerie business noted for offering high-quality items at exorbitant costs. Despite the higher prices, people are prepared to pay for Victoria's Secret because of its superior craftsmanship and legendary logo. Number 3. Promotion Victoria's Secret employs a variety of marketing methods to reach its target audience and convey its brand message. These include high-profile advertising campaigns, utilizing legendary angels and models. These techniques assist the company in maintaining a strong relationship with its followers. Number 4. Place. Victoria's Secret strategically chooses store locations to enhance visibility and accessibility for its target audience. It operates physical retail stores in high-traffic malls, upscale districts and urban areas, while its strong online presence expands its reach and accessibility. Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Victoria's Secret revolutionized the lingerie market with its annual fashion show, which featured top models dressed in intricate lingerie designs. The brand evoked a sense of exclusivity and imagination, tempting buyers to indulge in its lavish offerings. Their use of supermodels like Giselle Bündchen and Adriana Lima contributed to Victoria's Secret's reputation as a must-have luxury brand. Initiatives to rebrand Victoria's Secret the company's marketing strategy for a long time was centered on the masculine gaze. However, Victoria's Secret discovered that it was out of step with the beliefs of younger customers as cultural norms changed. Victoria's Secret launched a rebranding campaign to project a more inclusive and feminist image in reaction to growing criticism and dwindling sales. This entailed showcasing a varied roster of models in its advertising campaigns and fashion shows. Victoria's Secret's Icons campaign, aiming to modernize the brand and promote inclusivity. However, the brand's under definable campaign, featuring celebrities like Bella Hadid, Hailey Bieber, and Britney Spencer, now and future. Victoria's Secret, the biggest lingerie retailer in the United States, has influenced the industry with its unique marketing efforts targeting a variety of demographics. In response to shifting consumer preferences and increased competition, Victoria's Secret has begun to rebrand and reinvent its image, indicating a shift towards inclusivity and body positivity. Victoria's Secret has also broadened its product line to include more comfortable and practical lingerie styles, catering to a broader spectrum of client tastes. With new leadership and a renewed emphasis on inclusivity and diversity. As the enthralling story of Victoria's Secret comes to an end, we are reminded that success is a fabric made of both victories and setbacks. This voyage through the world of intimate elegance has been nothing less than a captivating dance between desire and evolution, from the heights of unmatched luxury to the crucial moments of transformation. We really hope you enjoyed today's video, The Rise and Fall of the Worlds, Most Sought After Intimate Luxury, Brand Victoria's Secret. Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make 
sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another great video. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, no dream is too big.